Good morning. <laughs> Just want to um, share a few announcements with you. Not many this morning, but um, we do have welcome packets at all the doors for any of you who may be interested in joining our community here. And um, the Backyard Catholic Camp, July 7th, uh, for grade, starts July 7th for grades 6 through 8th. Everything else is in our bulletin. Thank you. Welcome to St. Bridget. This is the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And the Mass Intentions are for Elroy and Don Rogers and Fred Brangers. Number 544, Sing to the Mountains.
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. There's a lot more people here than I expected on a holiday weekend. <laughs> people must be staycationing, as they say. We place ourselves in the Lord's care this morning, and we remind ourselves that we are wholly dependent upon God's grace. So let us call to mind the times when we have not been faithful to the Lord, and let us ask for God's pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, each day you call us to faithful discipleship. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. Christ Jesus, you are always eager to forgive. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, in you we live and move and have our being. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day, Elisha came to Shinnom, where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elisha is a man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof 
and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp, so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Sometime later, Alicia arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Alicia asked, can something be done for her? His servant Gehazi answered, yes. She has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Alicia said, call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Alicia promised, this time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. 
As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Friends, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because the little one is a disciple, amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. As much as I would like to preach on our gospel text, we have a serious problem. How on earth are we going to distribute the body and blood of Christ without it turning into a roller derby? Does anybody not remember roller derby? I still watch it. What's wrong with you? And everything I'm about to say is subject to change. Because someone's going to end up in the hospital. I will stand here, like I always do. The other two patents are going to stand here. Hopefully that gives people time to turn around and not run into each other. A cup will be here, which hopefully that gives enough time that the person 
who just received from the patent doesn't run into the back of the person at the cup because apparently our brakes don't work. The other patent, gonna be here. <laughs> Hopefully giving enough room for people to not run into each other instead of breaking. The other cup, gonna be here. So hopefully this person doesn't run into the back of this person. And if you do see that there's not gonna be enough time, please break, please. I'm tired of going to the hospital. Now, you may be asking, what about the third cup? That's where it gets a little tricky. So, here I am in my spot. I'm going to put this cup for now. We may have to go to four cups to do a better traffic flow, but we haven't done this in three years. So, it's, it's like First Communion all over again. Other cup for right now is going to be right here. So we're going to have two extra cups on this side, which isn't going to work very well. But it's what we got right now until, until this old engine cranks back up. So, I know it's a holiday weekend, I know we're excited, I know you're excited to get away from me. Johnny Carson humor is truly dead. <laughs> so, when you turn, just make sure you're given the other person in front of you time. Now, hopefully by next weekend, I'll have the, love those little neon post-it note circles, and I'm gonna put them up on the floor <laughs> until we learn how to do this all over again. Because I, I, I have literally had a nightmare about this where cups go flying and people are on the ground. <laughs> and then for some reason, a horse came in through the back door. <laughs> Interpret that however you want. I just know I panicked in that dream. So again, I'll be here. There'll be a cup over here. The other patents will be over here. And the cups will be over here. We're going to forget. And we're still going to run into each other. But we'll get it down. So here's the flow for today. And it's going to take us months to get back into that routine. Because COVID robbed us of something very important. Well, as I've said, the first time I get COVID because I'm cleaning the cups, we quit. <laughs> no. Hopefully... I, it, I live, we'll see. But that's what we've got for right now. So let's be patient and let us get back into that mindset that not only are we receiving the body of Christ, but we're also given the privilege to receive the blood of Christ. So let that be our goal. Don't worry if we mess up, we'll get there. So, 
Yeah, that's a short one. Let us stand as we gladly profess that I believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became a man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death in his burial and rose again on the third day in accordance with scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life in the world to come. Amen. In confidence, let us bring our needs before the Lord's throne. For all Christians, that we die to sin and live for God in Christ Jesus, let us pray to the Lord. For governors and lawmakers, that they respect freedom of religion in all their votes and decisions, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers and summer vacationers, that they make time for Sunday Mass and daily prayer, let us pray to the Lord. For our nation, as we prepare to celebrate Independence Day, that we be thankful for all who have given service to keep our country free. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our parish family as children of light, that we strive to follow the bright light of truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we place our needs before your throne and we ask that you will hear our pleas we ask all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. The offertory song is Be Thou My Vision, number 400.
Let us pray that this, our sacrifice, might be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by Christ's birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bridget and St. John the Baptist, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Shelton, our Bishop, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have brought before you, and in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. United as disciples of the risen Lord, let us pray as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
Thus we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share in Christ's peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to his supper. Lord, I have to learn how to do this over again.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass has ended, but let us go forth in peace to love and to serve the Lord and one another.